Welcome to another Click Consulting video podcast. My name is Jeff, and thank you for joining our Excel University series. Please grab a copy of the book and download the sample file so you can work along. This video provides the solutions to the selected shortcuts exercises. In this exercise, we'll practice some of my favorite keyboard shortcuts. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move one cell at a time. The control key along with the arrow key jumps to the edge of a data region. Control shift and arrow highlights to the end of the region. Starting in the upper left of a table, it's easy to select the whole table by hitting control shift right down. The same keyboard shortcuts work to specify function arguments. These simple arrow key shortcuts are sure to speed you up. In this exercise, we'll see how handy the F2 keyboard shortcut is. Select any formula cell and hit F2 to light it up. Excel color codes the function arguments, making it easy to see where they are in your worksheet. I use the F2 key all the time to spot check my formulas. You can use your mouse to update range references if needed. Use the F2 key to quickly check your functions and formulas. In this exercise, we'll see how to use the F4 key to update your cell references. While editing a cell, press F4 to cycle through the various cell reference combinations. The F4 key makes it fast and easy to update relative and absolute cell references. In this exercise, we'll explore a shortcut that helps us fill down formulas. We have a formula in a column that's adjacent to cell values, and we'd like to fill it down. We position our mouse to the lower right corner of the cell and double click. I love that shortcut. We can activate the previous worksheet by hitting Control Page Up, and the next worksheet by hitting Control Page Down. Please use these shortcuts as you work through the remaining workbooks. This video is a production of Click Consulting.